excited. Ooh. Are you ready? Lifted. Well, please welcome Sometimes to the stage. Me. How's it going? Great. Sorry, how is it going? Good, are you ready to have some fun tonight? Are you ready to watch some variety? It is the spice of life. All right, here's my first joke. Here's my first joke, I'm gonna center myself. First joke. It's a little bit of a risk, but I think you'll enjoy it. First joke. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Get it? Because <laughs> it's like in this room, there are two genders. The ones with pockets and the ones without. And this evening, I'm not gonna brag, but I do in fact have a pocket. <laughs> and what's in the pocket? Now this time, babe, ready to scream? It's a condom! There we go, does this work for your lifestyle? There we go. Now before you all get jealous, before you all get jealous, I know what you're like, before you all get jealous, they are um, bad condoms, I'm sorry. <laughs> they are awful, oh my God, they are both um, incredibly low quality and very cheap. Cannot relate. <laughs> but uh, they do come, because of this lack of quality, they do come in a variety of sizes. Some of them are a little snug, and some of them are a relaxed fit. <laughs> and a word of advice from a woman who knows. If you get the relaxed fit, have whoever loses it in you retrieve it. <laughs> oh God, there is nothing in this world sadder than squatting in your shower, fisting yourself, <laughs> trying to fish out a wayward condom after the guy who lost it in you gave up looking for it and went home. <laughs> And you're there, knee deep in your own rectum, just fishing around. You pull it out of your bowels and it's squeaky clean. <laughs> thank you, life. Thank you, love. Thank you, Holland and Barrett psyllium husk. <laughs> Welcome to the Sam Hickman Variety Hour, baby. <laughs> I'm feeling at home now. So it's been so long. Oh gosh, I have to say this, I have to say this though, I have to say this. Environmentally friendly, conscious girl. In a push towards sustainability, this evening I will be re-wearing the costumes from last time, as well as reusing a lot of the same jokes. So you could say, <laughs> I'm recycling material. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, what's been new with you all though? It's been so long, anything new? I don't care. <laughs> It's not the audience member variety hour, is it? <laughs> What's new with me? Absolute silence. Do so you want to know? What's new with me? What's new with, just to ask what's new with me, Sam. What's new with you, Sam? Thank you so much for asking. It's nice that somebody cares. <laughs> oh my God, okay, what's new with me? What's new with me? What is new with me? What's new with me? Oh, you'll like this, okay. The pills I take every morning mean that my hands and feet are constantly freezing, but my tits are getting bigger. <laughs> In science, we call that a fair trade. <laughs> I know that they're getting bigger because once a month I go and see a man who tells me whether or not they're a handful. He's not a medical professional. <laughs> Just an enthusiast. <laughs> I've been trying to get out and go places, you know, re-enter society. Wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, I've been like trying to, trying to go places. I've um, 
figured out one thing that I absolutely have not missed over the last two years of not being an active participant. Can you guess what it is? No. Men. <laughs> Why are they so loud? <laughs> oh, anyway, anyway, as a result of being a woman going places and doing things, I did get COVID last month. Gas. I wanted a gasp, not an ooh. Gas. <laughs> Good, you're getting better. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad. Oh, it's nice that somebody, somebody in the audience finally took a deep breath. <laughs> I know, I take it out of you, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, I did get COVID last month. Thank you, survived. <laughs> Would have been awkward if I didn't. <laughs> the Sam Hickman Variety Hour and Memorial Service <laughs> has a nice ring to it. Also, you're all already here. It's a very convenient time for me to go. <laughs> We have the venue, we have the date. Uh, anyway, I would like to thank NHS Wales for all the vaccines. Yay! Because my little COVID journey. Aww. <laughs> yes, I like it. I've missed this much power. <laughs> my little COVID journey was a single day. Ooh. It was one day where I felt as if I had the worst hangover of my entire life with none of the benefits of still being a little bit drunk. <laughs> it was awful. All I could do for that one day was sit in my living room and watch all the high school musical movies. All in this together. Oh, incredible, an incredible trilogy. Much like the Sam Hickman Variety Hour. Ooh. I know, teasing a third show at the beginning of a second, she's confident it's gonna go well. <laughs> she's also under contract. <laughs> Thank you, I'm scamming people. <laughs> Don't call me Sam the Scam Hickman for nothing. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so my little COVID journey. It was one day and then um, eight days where I was stuck in my home and every lateral flow was like, do not leave. So I tried to, um, I'll, I'll say this, honestly, my uh, penchant, my enthusiasm for staying home really dwindled about a year and a half ago. Uh, so, I, but I did try and, you know, relive the magic of 2020. <laughs> I made bread. <laughs> and I ran out of toilet roll. <laughs> but, um, honestly, the worst part of having COVID was actually the day after I felt truly awful. So I felt really awful. I went to bed. I woke up fresh as a daisy. I came downstairs for breakfast. And I coughed up a chunk of phlegm so thick that it got stuck in the food trap of my kitchen sink. <laughs> I was trying to like flush it out, it was not moving. I was looking at this disgusting thing that had just come out of me. And all I could think was, this is motherhood. <laughs> I had to flush him down with some boiling water from the kettle before I got too attached. <laughs> I know, I know. How do you know it was a boy? <laughs> well, you never have this much trouble with girls. <laughs> it's funny because we live in a society that conditions children. <laughs> oh, fun. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, it's nice to be back here out of the house, I guess. It's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to be here during Pride Month. Woo. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to be here um, as part of the Queer Emporium's Queer Fringe Festival. Yeah, a round of applause for that. <laughs> lovely. I will say this though. Queer Fringe Festival heavily implies that there is a main straight festival. <laughs> but don't worry, the Ed Sheeran concerts were last month. <laughs> and the rugby isn't until the autumn. <laughs> we're safe. <laughs> this is sports. <laughs> Fossy sports. <laughs> anyway, as it is Pride, I thought I would... Um, oh, I'm all tangled up. There you go, hon. As it is Pride, I thought I would uh, regale you with our musical number being a Pride Anthem. Ooh. I know, adding to the pantheon of Pride Anthems, which I have written. Ooh. You're familiar with my Pride Anthems, yes? Yes. <laughs> Mixed reviews, <laughs> that's what they said. Anyway, 
I have two incredibly successful pride anthems. I'm sure you've all heard them, you know, on the radio or whatever. <laughs> the first one, I will sing for you now. Okay, so we're gonna beat going and I'll give you a little sample of them. Clap, 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 clap. Number one, here we go. Power bottom, power bottom, power bottom with IBS. <laughs> It's obviously the first one. I had to, I just had to follow it up with my rap single. Rap, rap, wrap it up. Rap, 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 wrap it up. Even though you're on prep, it won't protect against syphilis. So wrap it up, babe. Condom's looking useful now. Anyway, anyway, if 2022 has taught me anything, it's that authenticity is the new black. And green is the new purple. Ugh, you can do it, I believe in you. Get on this damn little thing. <laughs> Fight my costume as I get here. <sighs> if 2022 has taught me anything, that's the year word, right? Yeah. Oh good, just checking. <sighs> if it's taught me anything, it's that, you know, times are changing and I've been holding on to something for so many years that I feel like I need to tell you all. so good to get that off my chest. <laughs> anyway, are you ready for my first guest this evening? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna love her. She's fabulous. Our first guest is our wonderful comedian. Please welcome to the stage the unbelievably talented Jesse Johnson. <laughs> 